Hey guys, let me show you my collection of lens flares. I keep them all in this chest. I have a bunch of them and they're always ready to be used on my images. So let me show you one of them. This, this one is really interesting actually. As you can see, really nice and shine. And I will show you now how to apply them on your images. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you how to create lens flares and light leaks to add them to your photos to make them even more interesting. So without further ado, let's the fun begin. Alright guys, let's create a lens flare for this photo and let's make it even more interesting. And to create a lens flare in Photoshop, there are literally tons of different ways how you can do it. And today I will just show you a few of them. Basically, I will open you a gate to a lens flare world and you can go there, explore and create whatever lens flare you want. So the most obvious and basic way to create a lens flare in Photoshop is to go to filter, render and lens flare. So let's do that first. All right, let's go here to filter, render and lens flare. And here we have this really tiny window, really small window for years now. I don't know why Adobe won't make it bigger but that's how the things are now and we have lens flare inside it and we can move it wherever we want. We have brightness slider and we have four different types of lens, so four different types of lens flares. So I will just go and position my flare right here and make it less bright like this. I can change, I can change the lens type maybe like that and press OK. And as you can see, we have really nice lens flare and that's the most basic way how you can create a lens flare in Photoshop and of course we cannot move this flare anywhere because it's pasted directly on the background. If you want to move the flare later you can go and do a little bit different. Let's undo this, create a new layer and fill it with black. So to fill it with the background color just press Control and backspace or command and backspace on Mac and now go again to filter render and do the same because we already positioned uh, the sun on appropriate position, we can go just filter and click the same filter again. It will position the same spot and put this into screen blending mode and that's it. But if you are not familiar where the sun is supposed to be, you can do a next trick. Lower the opacity a little bit just to see where the sun should be and use a white brush. Let's choose a white brush. I can use a little bit harder and small, small brush like this and just put a dot where sun's supposed to be, like here, and then go with opacity all the way up, go to filter, render, lens flare, and now you can find that white spot right here, click it with the mouse, and that's it, you can choose lens flare size or type and press OK. And now, when I put this to screen blending mode, we have something really nice and interesting, and we can move by using a move tool, we can move this lens flare wherever we want and rotate it and so on and so on. Another great trick is to do the same, create a new layer and fill it with black, right? And then you can again put white dot if you want or not, but go and convert this layer to a smart object like this. And now go again to filter, render, lens flare and just press OK put it in a screen blending mode and that's great. Now if you want to change the lens flare type or the brightness or the position, just double click here on lens flare and choose another maybe, make it brighter, press OK, that's it, we have different lens flare or just double click, change the position, maybe you want here, I don't know why, but maybe you want here and that's it, you have another great result. Alright guys, that's the first and most obvious way how you can create a lens flare in Photoshop. Now I will show you another way how you can create your custom lens flare and play with that however you want. So let's do it. Alright, to create a custom lens flare, you can use basically any tool here in Photoshop that you want. You can use this uh, gradient, you can use uh, shape tool and choose any shape from this that you want and then blur it, uh, stretch it, do whatever you want to create a lens flare. You can draw it manually using a brush. You can create a custom brush for that and draw a lens flare. Really tons of options, guys. Let me show you, uh, one using a shape tool. And if you're not familiar with the shape tool, I have a tutorial about that right here. Okay, I will go to shape tool and choose this custom shape tool. And then go here and choose some shape. For example, 
This one looks interesting. Okay, let's go back here and just draw a shape, maybe something like, like this is okay. And I will go here, stroke set to no color and fill to white color. That's great. And now I can go right click and say rasterize layer because I don't need any more as a vector. Okay, and now the fun begins. I will put it probably somewhere in the middle of the screen, something like that. And I will go to filter, blur and radial blur, right? And I will choose this zoom method and go with the mount all the way up. I will press okay and you will see it will zoom it a little bit. I can move this a little bit to the left and then go again. I have a control F uh, shortcut for repeating the same filter I did before. So I will repeat it again and then control F again. And like that few times until you're satisfied with the stretch and zoom of this effect like that. And then you can move it wherever you want. You can put it here as the sun. You can put this in any kind of blending mode, but because it's white, we can change the color to something else. Or we can duplicate it with Control Command J and just press Control Command T and you can then rotate this. Let's place this rotation point right here in the center of the shape and then we can rotate like that, make it bigger or smaller. Let's find a nice position for, for this maybe. Maybe let me see. Mm -hmm -hmm. This can be interesting. So let's make it smaller a little bit or now. This can be interesting. Press OK. Now we have those two shapes. We can select both of them and press Ctrl or Command E to merge them together. And we have really nice, interesting shape for lens flare. Then we can go and colorize it. And to colorize it, there again, tons of different ways how you can do it in Photoshop. And today I will show you one way that is really handy because you can really easily change the colors of the lens flare if you want to do it later. So let's do it. To colorize this lens flare, we need first to put it on a black background, otherwise it won't work so good. So let's first name this to lens flare, all right, and create new empty layer below the current layer. To do that, you just need to press Ctrl or Command key and click on the new layer right here and fill it with the black. Because the black is background color, we will just press Ctrl or Command key and press backspace. And that's it. Now we have our black background. and. All we need to do is to merge those layers together. Just press and hold shift, select both of them and press control or command E. And that's it. We are ready to use our gradient map adjustment layer to colorize the lens flare. So I will choose here another color, black to white and click on the middle and choose maybe some kind of orange color. And we already have great result, really nicely colorized. Uh, lens flare. If we want to change or to add a little bit more colors in between this uh, white and orange, we can just go here, click in between those two colors and change this maybe into brighter yellow, something like that. And that's already better. We can change these sliders and change the position of the color. And that's great. Press OK. And that's it. If you want to change the, those colors into something else, just double click on that. Go here and choose one of the colors and change it into whatever you want. All right, I will leave as it is because I like the result. And now I will go and put this into screen blending mode and clip this gradient map to affect only the lens flare layer. And now that's it. We can move it right here where the sun should be. Press Control Command T and make it a lot smaller. And we have really nice result, maybe even smaller. I think this is really good. So before and after really, really nice lens flare, custom made lens flare added to our image. All right, guys, this is just one way how you can create your own custom lens flare in Photoshop and apply it to your images to make them even more interesting. Of course, there are plenty different ways how you can create those custom lens flare. And I advise you to practice experiment and explore other ways how you can create those custom lens flare for your projects because in that process, you will learn a lot about other things in Photoshop and that is really great way to learn. Now I will show you how to create custom light leaks in Photoshop. So let's do it. Right guys, for light leaks, we will use this image. And if you look closer, you can see that in upper left corner, there are actually some light leaks, but we will make a new one more pronounced. So to do that again, there are a few different ways in Photoshop to do it, but uh, I will just use one of them. I will create a new empty layer, use a brush, make this brush much bigger and choose some color. We can use this orange, maybe a little bit more towards the yellow like this. 
and that's great. I like to use really soft brush 100% opacity and just click somewhere here, something like, like this, it's good. Now I'll go and put this into screen blending mode, that's great, and create new empty layer, make a brush smaller and use another color, a little bit more yellowish and more uh, brighter like that and just click right here, put this into screen blending mode and that's it. I can go and lower the opacity of both colors and you can see really nice before and after, before and after, really, really nice effect. Of course, if you want to move those light leaks and make them bigger or smaller and change the color more easily, you can use another method, for example, gradient adjustment layer and create this same effect. I will show that really quickly. Let's go and hide those two layers and create a new gradient adjustment layer. And now I'll go from linear to radial, right, like this. I will position it wherever I think it's great. I think this is good. I can scale it, make it bigger or smaller. So let's scale it a little bit more. Go here, choose another color, maybe darker orange, like this, and press OK. Now, again, the same procedure, put this into screen blending mode, and that's it. We can duplicate this by control, pressing control command J, and change the color to more yellowish, like this, and make it more brighter, and press OK. Go here, scale it down because it's too bright, uh, too big, sorry, scale it down like that. And that's okay. Again, we can go right here and make this color more saturated. Maybe this is too much, but like that. And I can, not that color, sorry, this color. And I can go and always change the position of this, make it even bigger. And that's great. Again, this is before, this is after. And you can always go here change the position of this, maybe put it right here, I don't know why, but, and you can always change the color. And that's how you can create your own custom light leaks in Photoshop. Of course, you don't need to put it in screen blending mode, you can go and change it maybe to overlay or soft light or whatever blending mode works best for you. You can always lower the opacity to have a better effect and so on and so on. And your light leaks doesn't need to be in that perfect circular shape. You can create any kind of custom shape, for example, even a rabbit, then blur it a lot and you will have a perfect custom light leak for your images. One great tip is to create your own set of lens flares and light leaks so you will always have them ready to use them in the future projects. I have a set of my own lens flares, I will show you really quickly, so if you like it, you can go and download it from my web shop, the link is down there in the description, they are only a few bucks, and maybe you will get some ideas to create your own. Alright guys, here I have 21 custom made lens flares for my projects, and I will show you how I like to use them on some images. Let's change from this to this image, and I like to add some lens flares to the bus lights, why not? And for that I will use flare number 8, go right here and import it as a smart object. Actually, guys, those lens flares are really high res files, 6000 by 4000 pixels, 300 dpi. And I will make it smaller, put it in a screen blending mode and put it right here. Maybe make it a touch bigger like that and press enter when I'm done. Of course, I can change the color. I can go and go to image adjustment here and saturation and change color to anything that I, that I want, maybe some bluish, or if I want to be white, I will go with the saturation all the way down. But I like some bluish tint, why not? Press OK, and because this is smart object, I now have this as a smart filter. I can double click and change again to any color that I want. OK, I will now just duplicate this and move to other light, like this, and that's much better, before and after, before and after. Let me show you, of course you can combine, put a few lens flares on the same image to make the effect more pronounced. Let me show you on some other image, let's choose this car and maybe use another flare and put it in a screen blending mode like this, make it smaller and just put it here as the headlights. That's great, I can move it right here. And this is before and after, before and after. And let's combine, let's use this one, number nine, put it right here and put it in screen blending mode, make it smaller and we can combine those two, why not? We can always change the saturation, maybe maybe from, from bluish to more orangey like that and duplicate right here and so on and so on or if you don't like that combination you can find some other one maybe this make it smaller and again put it in a screen blending mode 
maybe this will work better. I don't know. We need to experiment. That's great. I like how this works. And this is before and after, before and after. Right, let me show you on some other image, maybe this one. I can go and choose one of my sun flares like this with uh, some mm, those uh, sun rays. Okay, put it in a screen blending mode and just position it right here, press enter. And that's great. I have a really nice effect. Maybe I want to make it bigger if I want or smaller, depends on the situation and the mood and so on and so on. Of course, there are plenty of other lens flares here. I can combine them together, make this even bigger like that. And this is before and after, before and after. We have some other images here, as you can see. This lens flare is for flashlight. It's really nice. I like it. That's actually this one or this one, or you can combine both of them, rotate and so on and so on. And for example, right here, we can add maybe, let me see, something very interesting, maybe this one, why not? And just place it, put it in a screen blending mode and put it right here. Maybe make it smaller like that. Press OK. And of course, we can always change the color. Let's press Control Command U. Change the color if we want in something blue or actually I like this. Boost the situation. Or we can make a copy of that to have more pronounced effect. And as you can see, we have hard edge right here. We can fix that by putting a layer mask and just with the blue soft brush right here. Make that really nice transition. And that's it. Of course, we can always go and put some curves adjustment layer, make this more contrasty, and we have really nice result before and after, before and after. All right, guys, that's basically it for today. I really hope that you liked this episode and that you learned something new out of it. Have fun, experiment, practice with those lens flares and light leaks, and you will learn a lot of other things in Photoshop by creating some custom lens flares for your projects. Of course, those lens flares can be any kind of shape and size that you want because it's your own preference. Just light your imagination and go in that world of lens flares and have fun. You can make your images stand out even more. If you have any questions regarding this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be more than glad, more than glad to answer them. If you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do it by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And of course, you will get some things in return. Subscribe if you're not already, ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.